Okay, today I'm going to be replacing the LCD from the my BlackBerry Storm 9530. I had purchased this on eBay and it was broken already. I had already known that is what I paid for. And I had bought it thinking that I could just use it and the cracked screen would have nothing wrong with it. I could just keep doing it and replace it and it would just be a vis vis visual defect but it turned out it wasn't and this thing is completely utterly useless without a brand new screen and the LCD itself is fine just the glass on it is completely uh, broken and not useful at all they sell digitizers by themselves little glass part of the LCD but you have to have soldering uh, skills which I do not have and the information on that is very very limited but I received my new LCD in the mail those run from about fifty to seventy dollars on eBay if you buy it from Amazon they're like a hundred dollars so I would stick with eBay mine was only fifty six dollars and uh, free shipping got here and paid for it on Sunday and it came on Wednesday so it's pretty quick but uh, the first step is, of course, removing the back and the battery. And there's going to be screws, and you can use your torque screwdriver to get them out. They'll be right there, there, and then underneath this, which you can just peel off. It has sticky underneath it, and there's some screws under that. And then up on the front panel underneath here, you just get your little safe pry tool, and you just take it off, and there'll be two gold screws underneath that. But I've already done that to save time and then you would get your safe pry tool and just pry from the top left top right excuse me um, you don't want to do the top left first because up here there's an antenna cable that connects and if you um, mess with that and get it completely ripped then you have a very nice blackberry paperweight that you have paid for because it will not be able to connect to any wireless at all but you just slide it underneath and there's clips it may sound like they're breaking but they're not they're just releasing and once you get that out we can go to the next step again there's a antenna cable up at the top well that just popped off by itself all right it's not broken don't be alarmed if that happens because it'll do that by itself but there's the antenna cable it pops on the right uh, here top if it doesn't come off you just use your safe pry tool to get that off and then the next step is to separate these which it just comes off really easy and then on the back of the motherboard right here is the uh, ribbon cable where the LCD connects to you just pop that off comes off really easy and then it's completely off and then you're good here's the LCD I have see it's cracked completely useless now I might sell it I might not but I have my brand new LCD and I'm gonna open that up and get this going look at that came with a pry tool I already had one <clears throat> but it's all good okay and let's get this out let's see here we have a box oh nicely packaged and my new LCD. Hey, $56. And you have to be careful because there's two versions of this. There's one where the cable is green right here and this is gold. You have to have the same version or it won't work. There's one version at the, I don't know if you can see this, no you can't, but the last numbers on the thing is 14 that's the first version and then there's four, uh, 24 which is the second version and you gotta make for sure you have the right version and the good way to tell is that's gold the first version is gold, the second version is um, gonna be green but the next step to reassemble this is to make sure you have this the right side up because if you don't it's not gonna work <laughs> but the easy way to tell is the ribbon cable connectors right there so you want to turn it to where it would wrap around and then work perfectly for you which would be this way you just place it on there turn it around 
and put it right back on the little connector. There you go. Then the next step would be the best thing would be trying to connect this thing, which was a really, really big pain to do. Um, but it's usually simpler if you have a safe pry tool. I'll try to put this on where you guys can see. You gotta be extra careful. You can use your fingernail or safe pry tool, but there we go, it's on. Very gentle, I don't want that to come off again. And pop it all back on. Hope it didn't disconnect. Ah, nope. Okay. We have that on, then we just do the back panel for it, and it just pops right back in like it came. And everything should just pop right back in and um, I'm gonna have to take these front covers off because I'm gonna screw everything back in before um, everything's done I'll try and get this done real quick I'll put the screws in later um, let me put the battery back in I'm running out of time, so I'm just have to do this fast. But um, put the back panel back in. Red lights coming on. Let's see if this works out or not. Appears to be working very good. Again, these are really expensive, and when I bought it, the person said that the screen worked really nice. Like it still worked fine, which of course it didn't, but you know, I got it kind of sort of cheap. But basically that's it, that's about how you replace a screen. Not that difficult, I think anybody can do it. Thank you, and that's all.